Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time everybody welcome back so today is going to be a productive sunday day in my life video i'm really excited about today well i was until i saw the weather and the weather is so great like i've actually had to put the light on in here because it's so gloomy today but i woke up today got ready put some makeup on but we're gonna do a little bit of tidying we also need to put the christmas decorations away i feel like we've left it so late in the year like <laughs> it's like already january and i feel like so many people put them down like straight after christmas but i'm excited for it to all look like clean and tidy again so we're going to be doing that today i also really want to go somewhere and get like a nice little coffee or something like that but we will see where the day takes us so i'm going to go downstairs now and start a bit of tidying to focus when you're getting close to me we're like a broken record spinning round and round all oh year i was just gonna come upstairs and change the bed but jasper is still in bed so there we go <laughs> anyway i've just like tidied up the kitchen a little bit and done the dishwasher all that kind of stuff so whilst we are waiting for jasper to get up get ready so i can change the bed and tidy the bedroom i thought i would sit down quickly and talk about the sponsor of today's video which is lily silk lily silk sell a range of silk products such as bedding pillowcases silk clothing like their stuff is literally stunning and i've got a couple of bits here which i thought we could quickly unbox together look how stunning the packaging is now this is a silk pillowcase i have been meaning to get a silk pillowcase for ages because i have heard so many benefits of using like a silk pillowcase over like a standard like cotton pillowcase i've heard that it's so good for your hair and skin and because silk has less resistance than cotton you're less likely to get like wrinkles and things like that and your hair is less likely to get like super knotty um which to be fair if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i have been taking my hair pretty seriously since i've been getting it done like my whole color of my hair has transformed and i really want to grow my hair quite long like it's still quite long now but i want to grow it even longer and i feel like just little hacks like this is honestly going to make such a difference i definitely need to iron it but look at that like you can just see how like glossy it feels so soft and nice like i'm gonna have to get jasper to feel this because he's got one as well and i know it's gonna help with his wrinkles i'm sure he's gonna be appreciating it <laughs> so we've got one for me and one for jasper i love how everything's packaged in these like beautiful boxes um we've got this cashmere jumper which oh my gosh let me just open it so i can show you this is the cashmere jumper so it's kind of like a little like turtleneck which i love especially for this time of year and it feels so soft i'm gonna quickly put this on to show you what it looks like on this is the jumper on it fits so nice and perfectly i got it in a small and it fits really nicely like in the arms as well i feel like these type of jumpers are just such a staple like in your wardrobe this with like a nice coat or like with jeans like you could just style it really nicely one fact that i had no idea about with cashmere is that it's two to three times warmer than wool so when you are freezing in england like it literally always is here like this will actually just keep you so much warmer even though it is quite like thin and lightweight which i love so that is everything from lily silk one thing that i did want to mention is that lily silk is very environmentally conscious which is always good when you are buying silk products and definitely something to look out for and i also do have a discount code which i will leave on the screen now so if you do shop using that code you will get a little bit of discount i think i'm gonna head downstairs now and i really fancy making myself a smoothie we also need to get up in the loft and get all the boxes down for the christmas decorations so i think i'm gonna wait for jasper to help me do that me and jasper got this really nice like smoothie maker from jasper's family for christmas um which i'm very happy about because for the longest time i've just been using a nutribullet which i don't know if anyone else has this problem with a nutribullet but it leaks so this is our new smoothie maker i'm gonna quickly pull it out of the box it's actually like an actual proper blender which i always see people make these absolutely stunning like smoothie bowls like really thick smoothie bowls and it looks unbelievable which i feel like with this we're going to be able to do so i'm going to quickly un 
box it and see what it actually looks like. But I've been really excited to try this because um, I just feel like I want to start getting back into it. I know it's kind of like winter and cold, but I really want to get back into like making smoothies and things like that. Cause it's just such an easy way to get like more like fruit and vegetables into the diet. So that is what we're going to be doing. I'm very excited. So this one is the Ninja 2-in-1 Blender. If you are interested. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it looks so fancy. It looks like one of those like smoothie things that they have in like a coffee shop. And we also do have like, if you want to make it into a Nutribullet type thing. That is cool. And then we have the base. It's actually very big. Oh my gosh, that is massive. <laughs> Like, it actually won't even fit under the side, I don't think. That is a beast of a smoothie maker. I'm so excited. There we go. Look how big it is. <laughs> Are we going to put that? I don't know. Unless we put it over there. But it, like, doesn't... I don't think it fits under... No. It's so much bigger. I think it's because the base is really big. But it looks, like, really, like, a beefy kind of... Doesn't this look like the sort of thing you get in, like, a coffee shop? Uh, like Starbucks where they like sure. Yeah, like Starbucks where they like make the frappuccinos and stuff. Oh, right. I would have said like a milkshake place. Yeah, true. So we've just moved a couple of things around and we're thinking of putting it there. We'll see what it looks like. I feel like it looks quite good there next to the coffee machine. Although I just don't know what it is, but I don't like the cables. Like you can see the plugs, but... Ain't nothing to do about it. No, so I think that's what we are gonna keep it as. Jasper, I wanted to quickly show you. I need mean, silk pillowcases. See how soft they are. So nice, aren't they? You need to iron like a them. Scarf. Feels like a scarf. <laughs> Feels just super like. What do you need to iron on? Well, look how crease that is. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna crease anyway, isn't it? How soft are they, though? Yeah, they are soft. Apparently, it helps prevent wrinkles sleeping with a silk pillowcase. What were you trying to say? <laughs> Ain't getting no younger, Jasper. <laughs> I am. Benjamin Button. <laughs> so. Should we make a little quick mini smoothie, just like not a big one? Because we're thinking of going to go and get a coffee. Should we do it? What? I just get so excited about things like this. What are you going to make it with? I've got some frozen fruit. Right, I've got this little like smoothie mix. I suppose it's a banana in it. You've had a banana too, haven't you? No, it comes with banana in No, it doesn't. <laughs> Where's a picture of the banana on the front? Hey, it has banana That's an apple. I'm also going to add some of this, like, collagen, beet collagen powder. Because it's like a raspberry flavour, which I feel like would be really nice in a smoothie. I used to make smoothies so much, and I can't remember even how to make them. I need to watch some YouTube videos on how to make, like, nice smoothie bowls. Like, you know when you drink ah. something? <laughs> is it painful? Yes, when your taste buds haven't like tasted anything like of a strong flavour in ages, then you put it and it like hurts yeah. your mouth. That's what, that's what like, I mean. Your jaw just got locked up. So I feel like this is not going to be a productive day in the life if I don't make a little to-do list. So I'm just going to use my little to-do list on my iPad. Let me just show you. Can you see that? So you've just got like the little tick boxes down the side. So let's quickly make a to-do list and then me and Jasper are going to go for a quick coffee in town and we also need to pop to B&Q to take back some shelves. So the other day we bought some shelves for our boiler cupboard. So I think we only need one. So we're going to take the other one back whilst we're in the town centre. But anyway, let's write a quick to-do list. So this is the plan of action. So we're gonna start off by going to B&Q and taking back the shelf and getting a coffee. So let's go. We're just pulling up to a b and So I think Woo! we've got the receipt. Down there, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's the receipt there. So we're all good. Take the shelves back. Have a quick look to see if there's any other shelves. I also wanna look at paint samples. We're only, we're only taking one back. Yeah, I know. 
um, I want to get paint samples. Because <laughs> I still... Paint saga. Yeah. So you've been here for a while. You'll know that we want to decorate our office room. But we're not. We're so torn between like what we want to do. And I think I've come to the conclusion that rather than blue, I think we should do more like beigey kind of colours with it's like panelling. It's new to you. Yeah, it's yeah but I've been me. thinking about it. You don't even think about it. I don't really care. <laughs> no, so I think that's probably more I'm gonna do. I just don't even know. But I wanna look at if I find the right paint then I'll know like what I wanna do. So I might have a quick look in here as well. being cute took the stuff out we were so confused because obviously to get the refund we had to put the card in but the card number didn't match any of our cards and we were so confused yeah, and um yeah it was like so strange and then it turns out that when you use apple pay for your card it comes up with a different card number on the receipt yeah so strange um i've never had that before but we're gonna go get a little coffee now i feel like we never come on little coffee dates anymore We've got our own coffee machines. The I know. Why we bought it. Yeah, but I do love a little coffee date. So that is where we're going to go now. I hope, I hope the rain holds up whilst we walk through town because I don't have a coat. Do you? No. No. Ooh. You pick up the tree socks, then Oh. They look so nice, don't they? I think that's Yeah, it looks like soy milk. What have you got then? It's got cheesecake. Ooh. Fancy. I enjoy like occasionally going into a coffee shop because I just love the vibes. Um, but we are now heading to Asda, gonna get a couple of bits, little smoothie bits, stuff for Jasper's work lunches. And then apart from that, the only other thing we're gonna go do is take down the Christmas decks. Woo! I'm really excited to actually take them down. Like I love them. I know I'm gonna miss like the cute fairy lights and stuff, but I'm ready for a clean house again. Yeah, it would look nice again. Yeah. Fancy. Sausages. I love these. Um, Jasper's got some Activia yogurts for work. So we're stocking up on the pasta because we completely ran out of pasta the other day. And I was quite sad about it, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Jasper recently have been loving corn on the cob. Like, we never usually have them at all. Like, I don't think I've had them in like years. No, I'm not right, to be honest. Mushrooms, controversial. A lot of people don't like these. Really? Jasper hates them. And then this is what we cook our chicken in. It's these little Coleman seasoning shake bags. You just put the chicken in the bag and then put it in the oven and it comes out so nice and like tender and just like really nice chicken. So definitely recommend those. I think we're gonna get cracking on the Christmas decorations then. So we're just gonna go off in the loft while Jasper's going up, I'm gonna pass the stuff. Is that your going It actually you kind of scares right? me a little bit. <laughs> it's so dark, we need to get like a light up there. Off you go then, Jas. <laughs> Shall I pass you the, we've got a couple of like, boxes to put up in the loft like our oh, blender okay. box huh oh it's cold yeah I'm not surprised take it away 
away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. And just like that, it is all empty now. It looks so strange because it's just so bare. Um, but we're gonna give it a big coup because look how many like, I don't know what you call them, like the needles from the fake tree. Just gone everywhere, so need to give it a big hoover. You're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. So we finished tidy and hoovered everything up and honestly I just can't go over how like bare it feels in here, it's so strange. Now I'm gonna look at my to-do list and see what things were done and tick those ones off. YouTube video on my laptop and then we shall probably change the bed and do all that stuff in a sec so I'm gonna sit here for a bit do a bit of editing Jack has gone to go play his Xbox it's a little bit later on and I'm gonna make us a hot chocolate so I need to get the hot chocolate powder I've also washed off my makeup so I'm feeling a lot more fresh the only hot chocolates I've got at the moment are the Wittar. I don't think there's much left of this one. This is the salted caramel one. I absolutely love the Wittard hot chocolates. They're so nice. They're a little bit pricey. Like I think we bought it from actual Wittard store. Um, I think it was like two for 12 pound or something. So a little bit more expensive than what you can get in the supermarket. And then we also have this Galaxy one, but I'm not a fan of this one. Like I thought it would taste like Galaxy. I just feel like it just tastes like any other hot chocolate to be honest. Like it's nothing special. So I think we're gonna have the Wittard one. So anyway, let's see in the milk. I'll do Jasper's first. I really hope you guys did enjoy make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did because it does as you know really support my channel and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any more vlogs there are a ton more vlogs coming in 2022 so yeah make sure you don't miss out on any of those and i hope you guys have a lovely evening and i shall see you all again very soon bye